At first, he was hailed as a six, then reduced to a tix. Yes, Javellani is persona non grata. But who's lying? Six or tix? That is the question. There are rumors about fight infighting going on in six. True or false? According to Javellani, the cause of the feud is bad mind and that it escalated after his number one hit, Clark Spun Foot, and the endorsement deal which followed. Squash countered, labeling Javellani as an opportunist who used the Six's platform to further his career. Six are just six. Mm -hmm. And the rest of them are ticks. Let's look at the timeline. Before there was a wild side, there were six. The group had hit songs dominating the Mumbai music scene. Everybody said six, including Javilani or Diddy. As you don't know, the six them take over dance hall on a different level. Just the new style, people them like the image and the flow of the thing. It's more a new trap style. Though Javilani publicly praised the group in the past, he never really identified himself as one of them. In fact, it was the sixth boss who first listed Javelani as a member of the group. So, so Chronic Law, who are the others? Uh, we have Chronic Law, we have um, Javi, yes. same way. we have Daddy Wad. A claim which Javelani never disputed until he scored his first number one hit. As I say, a wild side government, I said for a morning, mm. the public say six. Javilani, the six them as me. But if you check back my music, as me I tell her, a wild side government from money. How did Javilani really benefit from the six? Again, let's look at the facts. To his credit, Javilani, who hails from St. Anne, first started to record music in 2014. However, unlike his neighbor Mobe, that parish had no music scene. No surprise then that he gained no traction there. Meanwhile, in Mobe, the six emerged on the scene in 2017 and rose to prominence in 2018. Javelani scored his first number one hit in the summer of 2019. It is fair to say that Javelani, an independent artist from Ocherius, after failing to boss in his parish, positioned himself on the Mobe music scene and either directly or indirectly benefited from the buzz surrounding the six. Six bosses, me. Squashman make it out before Javilani and La Boss, you know what I mean? We are just the follow up people, them just that hear our voice now. Like me. Yeah. But Squash are the forefront, you know what I mean? To be clear, both are legitimate artists in their own right, but let's call a spade a spade. Who knows, this might be a manufactured feud to boost both camps. If that is the case, feuding and rivalry adds drama to the music. It's about street cred, where the best artist becomes the man for run dance hall, but it has to be natural and organic, like Beanie and Bounty, Cartel and Movado. After all, competition brings innovation.